Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I gotta go look at a, I think it's an old Utica boiler. It said it was making a noise. So Jack the dog and I are gonna go uh, do the service call and check it out. And uh, we'll bring you along with us. So I hope you guys are having a good day. All right, here's what we got. And it's making a, a noise. It's an old Utica boiler, dry base. No wing burner. So we gotta make it run and see what the noise is. I'm guessing it's coming from that there. It's just like something about. Well, that don't sound good, does it? So let's see what's going on with the nozzle. And the electrical here. Yeah, it's not good. Hmm. Somebody's been in there. Clean those. Alright. So I want to get a pair of gloves and a wrench. Alright. <clears throat> and we're gonna check that and see what that has for strength. They make a a thing you put on there to test it, a checker for the electronic ones. I, mean, I don't have it. I always do the screwdriver test, but I mean, some of these it's harder to tell on the electronic ones. It's easier on the iron core. I much prefer the iron core. And the problem here is that it's uh, this is constant ignition. It doesn't drop the transformer out, and these electronic ones don't hold up good to that. Harder and harder to get the lane. Uh... Boy, somebody's. Uh... <laughs> Something ain't right up front there. Combustion chamber. That I can tell you. Oh boy. That'll be fun. But that whole plate will come off, so. Alright, I'm gonna go change this, clean this assembly up. And, uh,. So we'll take care of that and get right back here. All right, I'm out here to the truck. <clears throat> Thought maybe I'd show this on a lot of these old Wayne burners. You got these individual screws. <clears throat> Inside here, I don't know if you can see it, is a metal band. Yeah, there we go, hit the camera. That goes around like that. That prevents the screw from breaking the porcelain. So you wanna make sure you're gonna take them off that you have uh, those metal things that are in there, those shims like. And uh, another reason I wanted to show you this, <clears throat> the more modern burners, 
you can use a three quarter inch uh, wrench and a five eight. On this one, you can't do that. This diffuser does not come off. It's welded on there. There's barely enough room to get a wrench in there. You can, but it's very hard. You really need one of these. This is a nozzle wrench. It has the five eights internally, three quarter on the outside. And uh, it's the only way to really get these off without destroying something. So I'm just doing this as a prophylactic measure on the on the burner. It, uh, I'll be servicing this this summer, so I, I won't change the nozzle again. This nozzle will carry them through till next year. But um, we're going to check that transformer. I kind of suspect that maybe that transformer is the problem. But we'll know shortly. And you can retighten it one-handed. They, they, I've had this for going on 30 years. I bought it when I first started, and it's lasted forever. So I think I got that at Sid Harvey's. I don't know if you guys know what Sid Harvey's is, but if they have them where you are, they probably do. I think they got them all over. You want to inspect the electrode porcelains really well. I know I've had different ones say, I change them every time. They're not that expensive. Well, they're pretty pricey. And uh, I don't, if they need it, I'll change it. I don't upsell my customers. I, uh, I just do the job and, uh, and they appreciate that. So if you do, that's your business, not mine. <clears throat> Again, make sure the the, the shim is in there, I guess, for lack of a better term, that's what I'll call it. Hope nobody's screwed with this. Oh, we'll know shortly. Come on there, what are you doing? Get over there. I just snug it down a little bit here and I can make my adjustments. I think I got a gauge for this. I think I like to use them sometimes when I can. Well, let's see. I don't like got a slew of them here. Thought I had a wing, wing gauge. Wayne. Well, doing it by eye. I don't know if you can see that. But it's, it's, it's right on there. Right on the money. That point is right there where it's supposed to be. And I got the gap perfect. Not bad for an old man with glasses. You young guys can probably do this in your sleep. Of course, so can I. But <laughs> I always like to just check my, myself with a gauge. Who knows? As I get older, maybe I'll get worse. It never hurts to use the proper gauges and stuff like that. So, again, snug it down good so they can't spin. Just don't crank it down so hard you crack the porcelain. Even with that shim, you can, if you get carried away, you can do a job on it. And my favorite electrode cleaner is PVC cleaner. I think it's a lot cheaper than other methods. And that jug will ask me, well, I've had it all last year, going into this year. So, and now we should go back in and put that in. 
kneeling pad. I got them on Amazon cheap. I highly suggest you guys get them. I never used them, but I do now. Nothing wrong with my knees, but I plan on trying to keep it that way. What I only use one of them things on my head for the lights. I always throw the little nut off of here onto the nozzle line. And if you're careful with that, that will line up. If you don't bend the nozzle line out of the way, you can look for the where the screw, the set screw holds it too for, for the depthing and stuff. So So changing the combustion chamber would be a whole another video. I doubt the combustion chamber is available for this, but I will check it out and see. Um, spark but I wonder if that's not short on that So we know that's good, but we may want to check the air adjustment too. The gold ones are can be a pain sometimes. Not always, but that's why I worked on more of these than probably anything else. And there's probably going to be a little smoke here. A little, little excess oil in there. Lighter than it was, but the problem is the boiler's getting warm. The warmer it gets, the easier it's going to start. So we won't know <clears throat> until 
the customer gets home and tries it. It's starting nice and smooth. I don't like the looks of the flame, but I kind of think there's some pieces of stuff down in the bottom from the combustion chamber that the flame might be impinging on, so we're going to have to get that changed um, pretty quickly here. But, uh, let's see what we got for a model number. 300 WT. I doubt the chamber is available for this, so it's probably going to have to be a wet pack. But we can always find it. We can always check and find out. So... I think too that that might have been shorting out in there. Um, the electro on the uh, either on the eye or on the bracket because that was loose. I tightened that. Somebody was in there and wire brushed the uh, bus bars on the electrodes. And uh, you know I don't know. Maybe maybe I did it last time I serviced that. I, I don't know. I don't remember. But um, so I guess that's uh, gonna do it for today. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm on the, on the thing. It doesn't cost you anything. doesn't mark you for death or anything like that. It just, uh, just helps me out a little bit. Uh, I do want to say if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit the subscribe button and even share it if you got somebody that's into burners and stuff that uh, might, be, might find it interesting. But uh, I'll do another video of the, uh, when I do the combustion chamber. Um, it's got a coil in it, mixing old mixing the old mixing bell. These coils here lasted forever. They they didn't plug up with minerals and stuff like the modern coils do. I don't know why. Something to do with the design of them. These are a big square rectangle plate, and the, the things go in and out and loop in and out instead of going around and around the circle like the modern ones do. I've changed a lot of the modern ones. As you can see, these this has leaked many times. This is a new air vent. There's an old uh, old zone valve, which doesn't get used anymore, that zone. So it's just, it's off. I think it goes to a unit heater over here in the cellar. And uh, these are two modern zone valves that have been put on. So uh, it's old, could use a new one. But uh, again, I don't, I don't upsell. I'm not going to sell them anything they don't need. If they want to change it, that's fine. But otherwise, uh, we'll keep fixing it. And uh, I'll see what they want to do about that chamber. We get something we'll have to do because they do use this for hot water. So... We don't want to wait too long because I'd like to get that flame cleaned up and, and make it run good. But for the week it's going to run like this, it isn't going to be a big deal. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.